Welcome to another episode of Rate or Roast My Rig. I am your host, Fluff, and today we are going to possibly rate, but more than likely roast, some of your rigs. If you want to submit your rig to Rate or Roast My Rig, uh, send me an email at rateorroast at gmail.com. Let's get started, shall we? Wow, okay, so we have a PV6505 combo. We have a Line 6 Spider, mm, I think four, and some very metal pointy guitars. It looks like it's in a basement. I know exactly how this basement smells and you probably are a very tall young man with dirty blonde hair who looks like you got the design. <laughs> It, honestly, this this room looks like you got the design of it off of Sad Pinterest. Three out of five beards. Okay, so your setup is good. I like all three amps, the Marshall, the Fender, the Vox. Uh, your pedal board is pretty clean. I like it. What I can't help but look, look at is the doors. Is this, <laughs> did you convert your basement to a boiler room or are you in a boiler room and it's being converted into a basement. Those doors look like they can handle at least 30,000 feet, by my estimate, but I am not an expert. Also, you have three pretty pretty decent amps, but you don't have a guitar stand. Is your guitar in timeout? It looks like it's in timeout, like, like, it, did, like it ran out into the street in front of a car and it's currently being punished. I'm gonna go ahead and give your rig three and a half out of five beards. I like the, I like your pedal board, your skateboard, Pe pedal board, pedal, pedal board, skate. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I love the Epiphone SG. I actually used to play a lot of shows with one of those way back in the day. But what I really like is the grandma's couch. That couch has been owned by at least two, maybe up to three grandmothers. Uh, Nana has spent a lot of time watching Matlock on that couch. I can tell you that for sure. But overall, I'm gonna give you rig two and a half out of five beards. This is actually a really clean rig. Kudos on the EVH setup, matching all white. You have the uh, Alesis EQ, you have the, the TC Electronic, I'm not really sure, I can't read what that is. Some kind of processor, the Korg tuner, the power conditioner, all very clean. What this rig screams out to me is you probably like coasters under everything, even if it's not a soft drink, even if it's a pen. You have a pen-shaped coaster and you like to align it perfectly on your coffee table. You live a life of symmetry, but I like your rig. It's a really solid rig. I'm gonna give this rig four and a half out of five beards. Whew, okay, let's, let's go back to the 90s, shall we? A Korg Toneworks processor. I remember back in the day when the, the display that this was on said, unlock Pandora's box. And then you would go and you would put the headphones on and it sounded terrible, but I digress. There's also a an ancient Sabine tuner just to the left, just out of frame. But my question is, why is there one of those containers where you order a milkshake at the restaurant and they put the extra in that, that malt container? Why is that next to your processor? Are you like playing guitar and drinking a milkshake? Can I have some? I give this rig two out of five beards. I, I, just, I can't put my I can't put my finger on it, but there's a lot wrong with this photo. I, I feel like it's violating some kind of health code. Also, what kind of potato camera did you use to take this photo? This literally looks like how the world looks when I first wake up in the morning when I'm rubbing my eyes, rubbing the sleepies out of my eyes. This has captured that. Uh, maybe that's a special camera, I don't know. Overall, I would say your collection of gear is kind of all over the place and it's also like you're compensating for something over a long period of time, like years. Like, look, I'm sorry that you can't grow a beard, but um, another Dan Electro pedal is not gonna fix your problem, pal. I'm gonna give your rig one out of five beards. All right, so you have a, you have a pretty cool Dan Electro guitar. You have the standard Fender jazz bass. You have a pen holder in the shape of a trash can, that's cute. You have the Jurassic Park, Park wallpaper, you have recordable compact discs, you have cables, just in case. I know this corner. This is uh, the covering all my bases corner. Three out of five beards. This says a lot about your character, owner of this room. 
You like things that are familiar. You're very comfortable with things that are familiar. For example, you really like that dog, so you got one that looked exactly like it. You really like that Les Paul. You know what? Let's get seven more. You really like a Marshall. I can tell, you know why? Because there are nine more Marshalls. I'm gonna call this the room of redundancies. But I give it four out of five beards. All right, here we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is the essence of Ray or Roast, my rig. You have Beatles and Iggy Pop in the Stooges records on the wall. I see some Sex Pistols. I see a PV musician from the 70s. I actually used to gig with one of those uh, amplifiers with a metal zone going into the front, ladies and gentlemen. It was a great amp. I'd actually like to find another one. I'm gonna title this photo, yeah, we'll make it work. That's what I'm gonna title it. Sick rig. I have zero bad things to say about this rig. Uh, it should be the wallpaper for the Rigs of Doom Instagram account. I'm actually gonna give this five out of five beards. That does it for this episode of Rate or Roast, my rig. Again, if you would like to submit your rig for rating or roasting, feel free to shoot an email on over to rateorroast at gmail.com and I will see you next time. Fluff out.